Right guys, welcome back to the channel and of course I'm doing some original content that I'm sure no one is doing and that is an unboxing of the M2 MacBook Air. Now this is a pretty exciting release for me because I have been using the M1 Air as my main machine for now, I think, over a year. So yeah, that is a long period and that machine has been perfect for me. In fact, right now as I speak, it's recording the audio to this video off to the sides. And so yeah, that's been a powerhouse and I'm excited to see the improvements Apple has given us with the M2 version. So let's just delve into the box and by the way, as you can see, I've got the silver because everyone has got midnight and I'm kind of bored of it. So yeah, I'm going with classic silver on this and hopefully it does look good. But anyways, I do want to note the film thing is on the box. I'm surprised Apple still has that with the MacBooks. Obviously with the iPhones, they've transitioned to the pool tabs, so why not bring that to the MacBook? I'm not too sure, but anyways, let's just delve into the box. So I believe there's a pool tab here, so let's pull on this. Oh, there we go. Great for the environment. Anyways, let's now get into the box of the M2 MacBook. Let's do a little shaking. Oh, that actually came up pretty easily. Wow, this box is thick. Wow, anyways, let's put this to the side. Let's put the film thing there and boom, there is the M2 MacBook. Now this already looks pretty good, but I'm pretty excited to see how thin it is. Oh, that's got some heft to it actually. I'm, I'm surprised. I don't know, I was kind of expecting it to be lighter, but it does have some heft. Anyways, this is the MacBook. If you want to see the contents of the box, I won't really bother with it because everybody knows what's inside, you know, the usual. So let's put this away and delve into the MacBook. Right guys, so let's now delve into this MacBook. Pretty excited to see the silver. Let's rip this off. Oh, yeah, and there we go, that silver, wow, that silver does look great. I can't lie, I just think MacBooks only look great in silver, like it's that classic MacBook color, and it just suits them so well. So yeah, let's, am I doing this right? Why is it not coming out? Come out, please. Okay, yeah, I'm always flopping when it comes to these unboxings, but anyways, let's take this out. Put the paper film to the side and boom, there is, oh, that is a nice looking MacBook. Wow. I can't lie, I was expecting it to be thinner. Like it isn't as thin as I thought it'd be, but it's probably because the wedge with the older design makes it look thin. Like it's a optical illusion, you know, because I believe the M1 MacBook Air is actually thicker than the M1 MacBook Pro, but because of the wedge, it hides most of the thickness, whereas this is flat. And I'm not sure I like that. I would have preferred the wedge on this. That was an iconic part of the um, M1 MacBook Air. Anyways, let's boot this up. Uh, how should we do this? I'm just gonna see how it looks on the camera. There we go. Take this off. Oh, the silver looks amazing. I'm just glad I went with silver because silver, Silver looks fantastic. It reminds me of the 2015 MacBooks and those are my favorites. And boom, hello. Why is it not saying hello? There we go, hello. And there's a notch. First time seeing the notch in person and personally, I don't mind it. Yeah, I really could care less about it. The bezels are slightly thicker with the air as you might've noticed in the like renders that Apple showed us. But yeah, the bezels are slightly thicker, but Either way, not a huge issue. And yeah, let me set this up. So as I set this up, I thought I'd give you guys some other impressions. Uh, the larger keys I do already quite like, they're easy to press. That is pretty nice. And the trackpad feels just as great as it is on the M1. Um, yeah, there's not much to, for me to talk about and test right now because I need to set this up, so bear with me. So just setting up the Touch ID scanner right now and it's pretty much just as fast as it was on the M1 models, so no real improvements there, but I do like the bigger scanner. Auto, auto is the way to go, by the way. 
Dark mode, nah. Light mode, nah. Auto for the win. And we are in. There we go. Also, actually, I forgot to mention, but my M1 MacBook is still on Big Sur. So this is actually my first time using macOS Monterey. And uh, basically, it looks the same. Apart from the wallpaper, obviously. But yeah. Anyways, I do want to test a few things that I can right now. Uh, the first thing being the Face ID, the Face ID, the FaceTime camera. There we go. That, does that look better? I don't know. I need to see it compared to the M1 version, but that still looks pretty grainy to me. Anyways, uh, we'll do some further testing, but yeah, that, I was expecting better from a 1080p webcam, but maybe the lighting conditions aren't great, I don't know, but that is basically all I can test right now. Obviously, let me know in the comments below, guys, which features, which tests you want me to do with this M2 MacBook, and I'll try to do it in a future video, and of course, I will be comparing this with the M1 MacBook and telling you guys which one to buy, but I do have a feeling that I do still recommend many get the M1 because it is a lot cheaper than this. This base model in the UK is $1249, so that is pretty expensive for a base MacBook. And when the M1 is often on sale for $849 or even less, that does make this much harder to recommend. But anyways, let me play around with this and give you guys my thoughts in a future video, but until then, make sure to like and subscribe for the latest Apple news and rumours, and with that being said, see ya peeps. Actually, before I go, I do want to check something real quick, and that is the thickness comparison between the M2 MacBook Air and this mid-2012 MacBook Pro, because, yeah, I'm expecting, wow, that is a massive difference. That's crazy. Wow, we have come a long way. But anyways, yeah, there's that.